Hey, happy Monday, everyone. It's Meredith. I'm here with a message for the 5th of September, 2022. We are using the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Hmm. All right, the sun is in Virgo. Venus is moving into Virgo today. Check your time zone. It's happening here. Oh, right around. It's already happened. Five minutes after midnight uh, and we have the moon in Capricorn beautiful intuitive practical Capricorn we're checking out the energy atmosphere let's see what's going on what we are potentially encountering today first two cards the magician mm. and the four of swords rest for the spiritual warrior that's kind of good news there there's a feeling off these two cards at the moment. The Magician is so wonderful. We all love the Magician. It is the as above, so below card. It's how we bring heaven to earth. I love that it's accompanied by the Four of Swords because that puts us in a more graceful state of being. Also puts us in a more receptive state of being. And I feel that we are quite connected to the prophecy of our own dreams and meaning in the dream time when you are resting and or asleep I feel that we are receiving really magical prophecy type of energies or information for ourselves like a channel download with blessings stable blessings for us for how we proceed how we move and flow in the momentum our next card is look at that two of wands yeah i have this sense here of you know the two of wands you typically see a character holding a globe and about to step through a portal and i feel that that's what's happening i also feel energetically as i tune into this that it's a bit of a tight squeeze going through that portal and i have a sense that the grace of the four of swords and its peacefulness is making our transition through whatever two of wands style portal has opened for us, how we are considering moving forward in the world. I also sense simultaneously that this perception I'm picking up on of the portal itself on the two of wands being a tight squeeze is kind of bringing up some of our stuff. More succinctly, I feel like I feel like we're having an ego show of mirrors, uh, meaning that we're kind of pinging off one another. I've, I've experienced this myself. I've heard about it from some of my nearest and dearest. The atmosphere is a, a bit contentious when it comes to communication and there are easy misunderstandings happening. And I have a sense that it's connected to whatever discomfort is taking place as we move along in our journey as we cross thresholds and step through gateways of opportunity and how we upgrade our own frequency you know when we're clearing away energies that don't serve us we can be in a heightened state of awareness meaning our physical senses can become overstimulated and then our intuitive senses you know they feel like a, a faucet full on you know, the information is just running in and that's kind of what I'm getting off the magician in the four of swords. So it's good that we're at rest and ease here in this energy because there is discomfort in the magnitude of the energetic influences bearing upon us at this time. Even though we have all these planets in retrograde and there's this perception alongside all of this that the atmosphere has eased in a way and there's less pressure now we're also in the shadow of Mercury going retrograde. So this doesn't surprise me that we may be having verbal engagements uh, with people or even you know with ourselves and then projecting them elsewhere. I've caught myself doing it and <laughs> well, we'll leave that there. <laughs> Let's see what's next, okay. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, excellent card to have here because you know, this is alignment with our destiny. So sitting right there next to the Two of Wands is a profound placement in the cards. 
the overall theme that I'm picking up on in the atmosphere out of these first four cards that we're looking at is go easy, take a breath, keep yourself grounded and accommodate little little disruptions here and there within your own self-dialogue, within the exchanges you share with other people. This would be a wonderful time for us when we get to Angel Answers to see, communicate clearly, because I feel this is a good time for us to be listening, listening well, and graciously allowing others to get their point across, which will create space for us to do the same. I also feel this is a great time in that communicate clearly style of energy to eliminate verbal clutter, get to the heart of whatever matter you wish to discuss and patiently check in with your own self and others. That's a bit of unconditional love we can give ourselves and the atmosphere as we move in this really dynamic flow. You know, we're starting out here with the Magician, which is a fantastic card. It's a manifestation card. And you know we're in this amazing season of manifestation. And that is worthy of our excitement and our enthusiasm. Though some of us don't ever accommodate for some of the discomforts that happen as we are in alignment with the divine delivery system of the Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes we have to stretch ourselves to receive the very things that we have been in manifestation, prayer, and affirmation for, for perhaps even a long period of time. We think that it's just gonna come so easy. And uh, being creatures of habit, it's more easy for us to resist this a little bit and then feel the discomfort and then project. So let's just consider that. I'm not projecting. <laughs> I know, some of you were contemplating that. It's a word to the wise, our own, from our own wise selves to soulful selves to our wise waking consciousness. Practice unconditional loving kindness with self and others as this energy, dynamic energy flows through. Next, yeah, flow through. There's the Eight of Wands right there, and it is a swift moving energy. There's a lot going on in this card. There is always a lot going on in the Eight of Wands. It's information incoming. As I said, I feel like the tap is turned full on. We are in great receiving for downloaded intuitive messages from guides, angels, the universe, higher self-awareness, as we are in alignment with our destiny and taking steps to, to go through another threshold gateway that expands our horizon, that fulfills us in a way that at one time we were only dreaming of four of swords. So grace, ease is important at this time for us. Be great receivers, great listeners, clarified speakers. And in the eight of wands, go with the flow. This is, a, as I said, a swift moving energy and it's passionate, it is fiery. The Eight of Wands is a card of marriage, and it's how energies are woven together. The more graceful we can be and accommodating we can be with our own selves, the, the more graceful this whole flow moves right underneath our foundation. Coming with this now is, yeah, beautiful card, Three of Coins. Because we're building something that lasts, this card, typically you see a master artisan carving in stone. And, you know, there are onlookers, there are potential collaborators as that process unfolds. And understand that with the magician here and the three of coins here, we are building on a foundation meant to last for ourselves because we have invested tremendous joy, happiness, inspiration, uh, as we have risen like a phoenix out of our own ashes of the past, right? So now we're building on a solid foundation and it feels amazing though there is there's the element of the unexpected and sometimes the unexpected is our own discomfort you know venus and virgo will shake that up for us too <laughs> so read about those two coming together 
in the cosmos and see how it relates to your current state of affairs. Let's take a look at Angel Answers. No. <laughs> We want what's on the bottom of the deck, actually. How is the universe supporting this beautiful flow of energy here? And we start out with this is the Two of Cups. Yes, unity within self-relationship. I was listening to one of my favorite tarot readers on YouTube the other day, and she was speaking about how we can only be met as deeply as we have met our own selves beautiful, right? And in a conversation with a friend of mine this morning, shades of what I'm seeing here in this reading kind of popped out in our conversation. She had an experience and was sharing it with me and we were both kind of a little surprised uh, by the turn of events that she experienced. And we understood that in her particular situation, she was experiencing another individual's response to her light and it was unfavorable so sometimes when we're shining right where we stand we inadvertently innocently even <laughs> attract the ire of others because we dare to live courageously in our vulnerability and that was the feeling that came out of this conversation with this friend of mine you know, she act, her words exactly were, how dare I, according to this other person, how dare she stand in her light and make that person uncomfortable, right? I know, isn't that just the most foolish speak you've ever heard? Because nobody makes us do anything. We either allow it, permit it, accept it. <laughs> but nobody makes us, right? So anyway, I hope you're following that because my sense is the energy atmosphere has been recently charged in this way and it may have stimulated a lot of us in surprising ways and we may have had some surprising responses. So let's again come back to a word to the wise from the tarot in allowing this energy atmosphere to flow unhindered, go with that flow Take yourself out of resistance with the Four of Swords. Be at grace, be at ease, be at peace. Be in unity and sovereignty within yourself so that as you interact with others, you meet them in their sovereignty and their unity. And then that, you know, those energies come together and a great and profound ripple effect is born. Let's see what's next. Yeah, look at this. The Three of Cups now, perfect, because, you know, it's the two that makes the three. This great and profound experience is born from being so resolute and sovereign to self and meeting others in that like energy. This creates a great celebratory type of energy. There's zero resistance here because we are all aligning with our destiny. It is happening swiftly. We are building something meant to last that is a fulfillment of a dream for us on our foundation. Next, oh, perfect. Now we have the Nine of Wands. Don't give up now, don't quit now. So if some of you are feeling like you'd rather throw in the towel, I caught myself saying this the other day. I actually heard myself say, I feel so fed up with Mm. And I was stunned, stunned to catch it. So I had to shift that around. But I wanted to throw in the towel in that moment too. And I have a much more enduring spirit than that. And I'm never going to quit and never going to give up. So, and I know this about myself. But it's particularly poignant to have this card show up in the reading when the atmosphere is potentially charged in the way these cards are speaking on. We have to dig into our, our, our fire our courage, our divine power, and we have to bring that to the surface, even when we find ourselves in moments where we feel fed up with. That is that is the ego speaking. It is attempting to protect us from investing any further in something that could potentially blow up in our face. And it's not. The universe is in support of what we're doing. We have the magician here. We're creating heaven on earth for ourselves. This is just an old language the universe is going to point it out to us so that we can shift it swiftly eight of wands 
into something that lasts three of coins oh yeah because there there's the ace of cups right there that's where we have the fortitude to endure on the nine of wands because we are the ace of cups the divine and cosmic gift of love bliss joy happiness raw enthusiasm blessing on overflow on our foundation this is here for us now the universe provides it gifts us blesses us with this energy and that's where we need to go in i love that a bird is just chirping away moments ago as i was talking about this so this is where we need to go when we feel that mo uh, that energy rise up on the nine of wands where we might just want to quit right here the ace of cups reminds us to keep going plus we have the two and the three of cups there And then there's the high priestess last but not least in that set of cards yes we got here because we listened to our inner oracle we listened to our intuition we've allowed ourselves to be divinely guided we have lived in harmony with the divine delivery system and the magician so why would we stop our our momentum now we've got a dynamic flow in that eight of wands and we are squeezing through a threshold a gateway that just temporarily feels uncomfortable remember feelings are temporary they rise we see them we witness them we love them and we let them flow out and away <laughs> be really present with yourself let's do angel answers now ask a question if you have one receive confirmation of something unique to you or let this be a simple message to you from your own guides. <laughs> Beautiful. Remain positive. Yeah, that's what we do. We dive right back into the Ace of Cups. Peaceful resolution. Love that. There's the Four of Swords confirmation right there. Peace is the path for us presently. Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes, no, it's no. And this particular no, the no's in this deck actually feel like yeses to me. This means not now, not right this moment. It may not be the moment to assert a tremendous amount of energy into your vibrate um what you are vibrating for what you are vibrating for creation on your foundation it's more of a passive uh graceful resting energy one more look at this Talk about confirmation. There's the don't stop card. Perfect. Confirming our nine of wands. Okay. Now, a message from our soulful presence to our waking consciousness from the elemental oracle deck. I'm going to pull right off the bottom of the deck here. <laughs> Look at this. Speed. More confirmation for us. Movement is the message on this card. We are in quite a flow. Eight of wands. Stay with it. And stay with it gracefully. Lake depth. Yes, because our depths are rising. This is what may feel somewhat uncomfortable to live vulnerably in a courageous way is to allow the depth of your being to shine right where you stand and pay no mind whatsoever to how others may react. That has everything to do with others and not so much to do with you. This is you being you. And then the sun, <laughs> light. Yeah, be the light. As I said earlier, sometimes our light is so bright, other people react to it. Well, I'm gonna take the next one too because it's Adam's building. There's confirmation of the magician card over here. Confirmation of our super stable foundation that we are constructing this love, light, joy, and happiness upon. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Have a beautiful Monday. Peace, ease, 
relaxation. Namaste.